Hey everyone, welcome back to ATD Movie Blog on YouTube. This is the unboxing for the Harley Quinn limited edition Amazon exclusive uh, Suicide Squad Blu-ray combo pack. Oh, that's a mouthful. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it and I'll narrate the video. Uh, so first up is the box itself and it's kind of cool. It's got a lot of great artwork on it. Uh, it comes with this back panel that sort of just summarizes what's coming with it. The figure, the uh, Blu-ray, DVD combo, and then um, obviously the ultraviolet and the special features that are on the discs. That's all just printed on there so that uh, you know what you're getting. It is an Amazon exclusive, which means I don't know why they have retail packaging like that. But nonetheless, it's a cool looking box. Uh, it's got the Harley Quinn on both sides of the panels. And uh, it's it's the same as the cover to the Blu-ray. So we'll go ahead and jump right into the unboxing here. The, the cover of the Blu-ray is uh, for the extended edition. It's a little bit different than what was released in theaters. And I know that that's a big topic of discussion, but I'll avoid talking about the actual movie itself on this video and just share with you the uh, statue and the, uh, the um, you know, the the uh, combo pack itself uh, comes with the digital copy which is cool I'm growing that digital copy collection and uh, I use voodoo exclusively now if anyone's interested we'll go to the uh, the statue itself and uh, in opening it it's uh, a little bit different than the dead shot statue which you can check out the video for that in the notes in the description below this is different. It's just two pieces. Um, it's the base and the figure itself. So taking a look at the base first, it is really heavy. It's good quality and it made me feel like the statue was never going to tip over. And the uh, logo is different for this than it was for Deadshot, obviously. It says good night, rotten. You got the pistol there. Uh, the dying roses. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, and again, it's different than the Deadshot base where some of the statues I've seen online all say Suicide Squad. So this is kind of unique and special to this uh, combo pack. And then the figure itself. Um, one of the first things I noticed was the weight of these figures. They're really good quality, um, high quality stuff. And um, in, in this figure specifically, the very first thing you notice is the fishnet stockings. Um, they're real. It is a material, it's fabric, and that's a unique touch on sort of the, the typical statues that I usually collect. Um, you'll notice that they bend, they give, and uh, it's kind of a cool aspect to the the figure that the 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 briefs look and feel uh, like a cotton like a material the shoes are super customized to the character design from suicide squad um, she's obviously got heels on and then that's the peg that holds the statue in place onto the base so that's kind of cool um and with these statues specifically, I never felt like they ever rocked or were at risk of falling over. So I think that's important. And I like this design here where it looks like there's a tear in the shirt. So you can sort of see through to the skin. The gun is in there. And then uh, I love the, the, the necklace. And the character's design as a whole is just super different. It's just it's noticeable. The makeup is really clearly done. Um, from Margot Robbie's lipstick to the hair dye, uh, the pigtails, which are pretty signature to the character. And then look at the nail polish that they put on this character. That's really detailed stuff for a statue. Just looking at it from another angle, you can see the tattoos on her midsection, um, and tattoos on her thighs going all the way down her leg, both legs. And I, I think it's really detailed. It doesn't look like a sticker. It looks like it could be a painted on to the actual figure. There's a tattoo back there on her lower back, but you can't really see it because of the jacket. Um, and in speaking of the jacket, it's just really well done. Um, all of it from the fishnet stockings up towards the bat, the, the design of the jacket, the lettering, it's, it's raised just a little bit above the, the statue itself. I love the gold color. You can see clearly it says Joker on there. And again, the bat 
is uh, pretty detailed. It's got its own text on there. It says good night. And uh, it's such a big part of her character design in terms of the Suicide Squad movie. Um, I'm really loving this figure. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, but I di I'm digging it. She's got a tattoos right there that harken back to the animated series with the, uh, the Qu Harley Quinzel design. Uh, and again, she's got bracelets. Um, the shoes are super detailed. And again, the peg puts it in place onto the stand. And just in putting it in place, it feels very secure. It, and when you try to turn it or twist it, it'll let you know that it's in the right position. I love how she's sitting or standing just off balance just a little bit. I think that adds some dynamic to it. And... Um, Overall, it's just a really nice piece. I'm, I'm thrilled to ha add this to my collection. Uh, and I don't usually get these larger figures that are at the 12 inch mark, but uh, this one I'm very, very excited to add to my collection. I think it's really detailed. I do think it looks like Margot Robbie. Um, it's pretty expensive. Uh, I think the entire combo pack was $120. So it is not cheap. But uh, at the same time, you're getting a really high quality product. Um, and it, I have rarely see statues with this much detail from the head to the toe. Uh, it's really, really good stuff. And just for fun, we'll compare it to the Deadshot statue that I also picked up today. So you can sort of see the difference in the sizes and such. Uh, these are really nice pieces. I highly recommend it for any collector, both movies or statues. Um, and that's, uh, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you like the video. Give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. And also you can subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. You can find us on Twitter at ATD Movie. Or there's a Facebook group where a bunch of us talk movies. Hope you like the video. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.